Good day. Welcome to another edition of Ibuma Mungo's Perspective on Global Affairs. Before we continue, I'd urge you to please press the like button so that we can get the algorithm going and get this video to be seen by a lot of more viewers. What I have behind me here now is a data center. A data center is what the world is all about now because we are now in the digital age where streaming and um, cloud computing and um, all the benefits of cloud computing and all the benefits of artificial intelligence are what is defining the new world and everything happens in that data center there. This data center is one of many that is being built all across America. This is the biggest and hottest real estate investment going on in America now, data centers. And in this age and time where America's power is being challenged by newcomers, this is one domain America power would not be challenged. Because it so happens, America has over almost 6,000 of such data centers all across the country. The second country with data centers is Germany, just uh, under 600, followed by the UK, 550. Then China that we usually know to be very dominant and challenging in America in this new age of the multipolar world. China only has just under 500 of these data centers spread across it. But it is not just the data centers that the real issue now. The real bone of contention is what is in the data center, what drives these data centers, and that is semiconductor chips. The biggest producer of these semiconductor chips is NVIDIA. Their uh, chips, called the Blackwell chips, is what drives most of these data centers. And it is for that reason why NVIDIA is now the most capitalized company in the, in, in the New York Stock Exchange. In fact, NVIDIA has a capitalization of $4 trillion. That is significant. But why is it that NVIDIA with $4 trillion capitalization has lost its place in America, in China, the market? Now we know that NVIDIA has almost 0% market share, starting off from 95% market share because it is, their, that it is their chips, their chips that run these data centers. China wants to catch up. So China is allowing its own countries and its own companies, its own companies to do the investment in the build out and roll out of data centers. China has decided also to build quite a lot of data centers. So if I pan here now, you will see one of the big requirements of a data center. That is power. That's a power distribution plant there. And whenever data centers come and are built in neighborhoods, some neighborhoods in America, they, they push back against it because it consumes a lot of power. And that lies in China's advantage. China produces three times more power than America. And that is also the advantage that they're using in trying to build out. But at this point in time, America is by, by far the biggest um, Build out, build out data centers. We see the companies that really help in America, continuing to keep America powerful in the data center space, notably Oracle. And Oracle, we know, we know them. And then Amazon, Amazon, AW, AWS, Amazon Web Services. For those who may not know, cloud computing is their main domain. Cloud computing is very good for companies are now using it as an enterprise resource tool where they have. Um, uh, software as a service, they have platform as a service. Many of them now just put all their data and all their uh, workflow on the web. This is the reason why whenever there's a trade war between America and China, it is the semiconductor space and the data center space and all the AI space that is usually the domain that they, that they fight over. AI models are also what America is very dominant in, but the Chinese are also beginning to, to put, put themselves forward in that space. The Chinese, Alibaba particularly, but DeepSeek most notably, are challenging ChatGPT 
and, and Tropic in America, uh, Challenging Grok in America, that one by XAI. And it is this big war that is going on now that is the real war, the real battle between America and China. In this space of the digital economy, you hardly find most European companies. It is completely, totally an America and uh, Chinese affair. America controls over 35, I think between 35 to 40 percent of the digital economy, total global digital market share, and the Chinese control the same amount. Every other country finds themselves in between. So this facility is huge and among us. It is very big. There is, it may need one to have a drone to be able to understand the, the scale of it. It is big and huge. And in it are all these chips. It has a lot of plumbing. It has a lot of, because it creates a lot of power and energy, uh, uh, heat. But it does have a requirement for electricity. And that's where China, China's advantage is, because China produces... 10, 10 of all uh, three times more energy than America. In fact, building out other centers now mean that some companies are beginning to want to build nuclear plants. They are re revitalizing nuclear plants in America. They are going into getting their own uh, gas generation plants. But the Chinese are way ahead of that. So there is a problem now. This is one of the domains that the Chinese are catching up on. They are not yet there. They are not in, an America's competitor as this regards. But they want to make sure that the next set of chips that will be powering the models like DeepSeek is the chips that they make in their own country. And that's why they are, they are frozen out NVIDIA from their economy. It's only the Chinese that can do it. The whole world wants it. The other company too that is really doing this is Elon Musk. Elon Musk is building out the biggest data center in, in America now. It's called, he calls it the Colossus. He has already built that Colossus. One rolled it out in 18 months, very, very fast. And then he's building Colossus 2 now. That will also be, a, I think, 1 million gigawatt um, uh, 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 of output. So it's the new domain and the new space. And even BlackRock wouldn't want to be left out of it. BlackRock, the other day, bought 74 data centers all across America, across the world. They formed a consortium that has bought 74 data centers. Data centers are now the new aircraft carriers. They are now the, because we all are impacted. We all use it. We use data centers. If you use WhatsApp, if you go online, if you do anything that needs you to um, get information, if you seek information from Google and it comes out very fast, it's because there's a data center near you. you the further away you are from a data center, the, the, the longer your latency in getting information. So data centers are being spread out now and data centers is what is the biggest um, uh, biggest uh, geopolitical instrument at this point in time, whether you know it or not. It's not aircraft carriers. Those are good, those are, but it is artificial intelligence and it is data centers like this that drive that artificial intelligence. So I will continue to go out and do more of these um, engagements outside where we have other other realities that are part of the multipolar world but for today this is where i end my video for today um if you like the video please please uh, like and share and uh, also if you're new to my channel please subscribe until i see you in my next video goodbye